Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we got captured by Shinra, so... Let's see, did they leave our equipment on us? Alright! They didn't even bother taking it away when they jailed us up. Now, the first thing we gotta do here, before we escape, is we have to think about how the rest of our party is doing, because we're so concerned about them in the other rooms. Now, to get the date that I want to get, I'm going to be thinking about Barrett first. Whoever you think about first will increase your likelihood of being able to date them later in the game. Uh, except Red 13, you can't date him, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we know. We have to stop them from getting the Promised Land and even more Mako. And even if you do, what about the rest of the planet, Barrett? You've got to think out your plans through a little more. Apparently Red doesn't care about our plans to save the world. He just wants to get out of here. Let's see how Red 13's doing. Apparently he misses his grandpa. How, well, I suppose all living things would have a grandfather, but I guess he's particularly fond of him. Fair enough. See how Tifa's doing. It's kind of hard to get out of here, Tifa. The door is locked. You can do that over and over and over again to really piss off Tifa. It doesn't, uh, re she doesn't respond any differently, but she, it'll affect her, well, affection rating for dating her later in the game. And apparently we can talk through walls. Or maybe Eris is telepathic, who knows? Or is that telekinetic? No, it's telepathic. Well, yeah, I do do everything. Uh-oh. You just pissed off the wrong girl there, Eris. We're all kind of here. Excuse me, princess. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose she... Oh, she doesn't know. Well, if she doesn't know about the Promised Land, then what does Shinra hope to do with her? I thought they said they put Eris somewhere safe. I mean, this is, well, I guess it's sort of safe in a jail, but, you know, that there's other places where they could have put her that would have been safer, I would imagine. And she's just babbling on on some metaphoric nonsense about speaking with the planet and returning to the planet and on and on like that. Well, gee, you think? You've only been hiding out there for 15 years! Or however long. Long enough! Okay, yeah, well, there's not much we can do. Oh, Cloud and Tifa get to share the same bed. All right. You got lucky there, Cloud. Oh, and we still get the happy music when we go to sleep. How nice. Well, we got to plan our escape now. And Hey, the door's open. All right. Just my luck. See, this guy might have a key on him. Oh, he's been brutally killed, I guess, or knocked out or something. Hmm. Okay, apparently we can't get the key on him yet. Something's wrong. We can actually get out of our cell. Can we get the keys now, Tifa? Oh, there we go. Thank you. We need, we need Tifa in order to get the keys and break everyone else up. How do you have a key for a door like that? Eh, maybe it's like a key card or something like that, like the rest of this place. Oh yeah, it would be a key card, because that's what we've been using. I was thinking, like, literally a key. Well, what are we going to do? Well, I guess now would be a good time to make our escape, huh? Red's going to scout ahead for us. What do you mean, clean up back here? What do you care about that body? 
Okay, well now our party is Cloud and the two ladies. All right. So I want to take a moment to rearrange my materia here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and I want to give her the carbon bangle we got earlier. That's why I got them. Let's see. Okay, now here's an option I didn't go over earlier. The exchange option. Uh, from what I... Oh, well, it's not there anymore. But, yeah, from what I heard, this wasn't even in the Japanese version of the game. I don't, I don't know much about that, but... Okay, well, I guess i got to take some time to arrange my materia. I thought it was on Barrett and Red still, so I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, so I've rearranged my equipment and everything, so let's... er, materia. And let's keep going, then. Seems like everyone was killed here. And looks like there's a lot of blood in this area. What happened? Genova escaped from here. Killed everyone. Man, I wonder how the president's reacting to all this. I don't know what to do! I can't make decisions! I'm a president! Oh, well, then you're screwed. Let's head back here and up the elevator, then. Genova must have went this way. Just follow the trail of blood. Yeah, most of the enemies, well, all the enemies, have no elemental weakness. But they do have poison elemental attacks, so... And, and you can get poison from them, but nothing to worry about, really. Nothing specific that I care to demonstrate with these enemies. The trail of blood leads upward. Looks like none of the president's security guards handled it. Hey, Mr. President, I've got a lot I want to say to you. Well, what happened? Oh, okay, well, the president's dead. All right. I guess we don't need Avalanche anymore. We defeated the final boss, and it's the end of the game. Sephiroth, huh. I guess he's still alive. Everyone seems to be a surprised that he's alive, but... All right, well, that's the end of Shinra, and... All right, so what are we going to do now? Huh, it's that guy who was... He was in charge of the space division, right? The guy at the meeting there? Apparently Sephiroth was here. What was with Genova breaking out of there anyway? Seems to be pretty scared about Sephiroth. I thought he was on Shinra's side. He was with Soldier and everything. Apparently he doesn't like that they're going after Sephiroth now, or the Promised Land. Well, I guess Sephiroth isn't a good guy after all, even though he really helped us out by defeating Shinra. Rufus? Oh, okay, well I guess Shinra isn't over after all. We gotta kill his son now! Let's see what everyone knows about Rufus. How would Red even know who Rufus is? Or his name? He's been stuck inside a test tube the whole time, or a prison, or whatever. Oh, by the way, uh, who are you guys? Well, we have a mercenary, two terrorists, a dog, and a flower salesman. And we're going to save the world from you guys. Yeah, we kind of figured that out. I guess you're president now, huh? Oh, great. Another speech from the villains. How nice. He wants to rub it in. Shouldn't we be the ones rubbing it in? Your dad just died. Doesn't seem to really care. Well, aren't you? You're in charge of the world. He seemed to be doing pretty well his way. Well, then how are you going to instill fear in the people? Well, it doesn't matter, because we're going to kill you anyway, so... 
we could have escaped two minutes ago before we decided to walk into the arms of the enemy again, but that's okay. Okay, so I guess Cloud is going to kill Rufus all by himself and everyone else is going to escape. All right. Well, can we still escape from Shinra headquarters, though? What happened to Genova and Sephiroth? And how will we stop Shinra from getting the Promised Land now? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!